Today I'm going to talk about the Warmind Raid Lair and the new map of Mars, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you enjoy learning all things about Destiny, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about the PvE aspect of Destiny 2 and specifically about the new map that was revealed as well as the new raid lair that both come to the second expansion of Destiny 2 called Warmind. For those of you who don't know, Warmind will be released on Tuesday, May 8th, 2018. If you already bought the season pass or bought both expansions individually, then you're already set. If not, then I suggest that you go ahead and buy the Warmind expansion because there may be a lot of content that you may miss out on. And no, Bungie did not pay me to say that. While there is a lot of content that is coming out with the Warmind DLC, not everything will be available to all players. And if you guys would like to check out an in-depth breakdown of the reveal that Bungie did two days ago, then I will put it in an annotation at the top right of the screen right now. And trust me when I say that no other YouTuber has gotten this in depth with the Warmind reveal yet. But let's get back to the topic at hand. Now, all sources for this video will be in the description below. So the new map of Mars for the Warmind expansion was released today, April 26, 2018. There is a decent amount of detail on the map, so let's go over it. This is Hella's Basin. Yes, the entire thing. There are five different locations within Hellas Basin, similar to the EDZ and the other destinations. These locations are Hellas View, Alton Dynamo, Dynamo Approach, Braid Tech Futurescape, and Glacial Drift. From what we can see, there are two fast travel areas, which means that Mars may be kind of big. Anna Bray, our storyteller and vendor, is marked on the map just north of the Braid Tech Futurescape. Another thing to notice about the new map of Mars is that there are 45 collectibles that are scattered within Mars that we will have to find. Now, these are probably the black diamond shaped objects, just like the one shown briefly in the reveal that Deej didn't want to talk about and instead wanted us to figure it out ourselves. As I said earlier, the map is a decent size, but I don't see it being as big as the EDZ. And another thing to notice about the map is that it's pretty bland, as we can't see any icons except for the three guardians, the two fast travel points, and Anna Bray's location. Now this is pure speculation, but I think this is what the map will look like when we first arrive on Mars in the Warmind expansion. And I highly doubt that Bungie will allow us to travel straight to the Braytech Futurescape, and most likely we will have to first travel to the Glacial Drift when we arrive on Mars. Although through progression in the story and in the end game, we will be able to explore other things that are hidden that Mars has to offer, like public events, escalation protocol, adventures, golden chests, and lost sectors. Now, let's talk about the new raid lair. According to Western Albert of Game Rant, it is said that the new raid lair will be called, quote, Spire of Stars, end quote. Like almost everything new in Destiny 2, very little is being said about the new raid lair. What we do know is that the new raid lair will be a part of the Leviathan in a node with the upside down triangle and a circle, as shown here. Now, yes, the Warmind expansion does come with the new raid lair, but Bungie hasn't revealed when the raid lair will be available for all Guardians to play. Weston Albert said, quote, Bungie hasn't even revealed what kind of enemy faction players may face in the new raid lair, end quote. And yes, this is very frustrating for us as avid Destiny players, and I get it. But, but I'm sure Bungie has a very strict policy on leaking information. Personally, I just can't wait for the release of the Warmind because I definitely want to get my hands on the Redrick's Claymore, as does a lot of other Guardians that play competitive PvP. But that will be saved for another video. So what do you guys think of the Warmind expansion so far from all of the information that we currently have from Bungie's reveal and prior? Let me know in the comments below, that way we can stir up a conversation or discussion and find out if there's anything else that people out there don't know about the Warmind expansion just yet. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these other videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.